everybody, it's Sherry. Um, I'm having fun today. My cat decided to try and take my tripod, my little thingy that the thingy's attached to, that the camera's attached to. Tripod? Right. Okay. Um, my cat decided to try and take that for a walk when I was trying this the first time. So hopefully she doesn't do that again or this could be a very entertaining video. Um, I'm here today to talk a little about, about some makeup. I have with me, I think I came up with eight palettes that really make me think of Valentine's Day. I saw Karen Harris do this. I saw Kay Bella Beauty do this as well. I will make myself remember to link them down below so that you can check out their videos too. I thought it was a really fun idea, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it, guys. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know why they're so ornery today. <laughs> All right. These are in no particular order. These are just how they ended up stacked in my little bin to come down here to record. The first one that I pulled out of my bucket is Vintage Rose by Give Me Glow. Now this one has some, has, yeah, it has some greens. Okay, so that's not as Valentine's-y, but if you're thinking about roses and flowers on Valentine's Day, then yeah, a little green makes sense. But then they have such pretty pinks in here that I love. I absolutely love Copper Rose and I love Bouquet. And I love Blossom. Okay, I love all the shiny ones, which is no surprise because I love shiny, shiny good. But that bag of Bink Glow is the first one I thought of because, well, not the first one I thought of. Maybe it is. No, no, it's not the first one. Sorry, I may be rambling all over the place today. Okay. The next one I've got in my little bin is the Queen of Hearts by Colored Rain. I will never throw this away if I can help it because it's so beautiful. Then you open it and then it's just blah palak, which, okay, that's fine. I have the cover, I have the sleeve, I'm good. Queen of Hearts. This is probably one of my all-time favorite palettes that I need to dig out more. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put it in a use this now thing um, because it's got so many pretty pinks. It's got some deeper purplish ones down here. This is a pinkish purple. Um, Noble Woman is a really pretty dark pink purple um, shimmer. I love Royal Highness, Your Majesty, Princess. There's a lot. So, and I like that this can show up on a bunch of different skin tones, which is great. That's what we need, right? I don't want anybody to be left out in the makeup community. Um, I've felt left out before. I'm sure all of us have felt left out from one thing or another in our lives. And it sucks. We all know it sucks. We want to be included and it's not fair to not include everybody in that. Though if you are a jerk and are saying mean things to other people, then yeah, I'm not going to include those kind of people because uh, I like love. I like to spread goodness, not hate. So that's what I'm trying to do and play with makeup. This is Blush Crush by ColourPop. I was amazed that when I was going through all the ColourPop ones I had, that this is the only one that really made me think Valentine's Day. Now, um, the Whatever palette, mine a little bit, I associate that more with fall, but the Blush Crush is just pinks. It's pure pinks. Now this one and ColourPop aren't as inclusive as I would love them to be, but you know, there's a reason we don't buy as much from some sometimes. But this one came out last year. Um, yeah, last year? Yeah. And it's got a little bunch of little pretty colors. You can see a pop bottle I've poked at for my inner corner before. <laughs> I had some fun with that. But there's a lot of shimmers. There's some mattes with glitters, which are eh, with my hidden um, hooded eyes. Not hidden eyes. <laughs> hooded, hooded, hooded eyes. Um, the shimmer from the bottom can sometimes get all over, especially like with the ColourPop formula. Um, some formulas do it more than others. Even though I use a glitter primer, it sometimes gets there. I not really mind. I don't mind the shimmer. I prefer it to stay, you know, on my eyes, but it goes where it wants to. Next one up, Sigma Corda Rosa. Now this one's fairly new to my collection. I bought it on sale because I'm trying to get everything on sale I can right now, like always. This one I haven't had a chance to really play with yet. Last time I used it, I used Summer Song and it ended up more orangey red than I wanted it. So I just gave up for that day, did something else. 
but this is full of a lot of pinks. I mean, it's Corte Rosa. It's rosy, pink, pretty, sparkly. Yeah. All right, next up, I have my other Gimme Glow palette, Vivid Rose. Now these are all pinks and purples and I love it. Um, there's kind of a light taupish purple, a little darker one, bright purple, bright pink, one light pink. I probably would have preferred another one that was a little less fluorescent pink, but you know, I love it. I love the formulas. The shimmers show up wonderfully and they sparkle. What I've got on today is actually the um, Club Nebula palette between Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. Um, yeah, I just got it the other day and finally had a chance to play with it today. So I'm like, well, it's not going to be in my box because it's not Valentine's Day, but I want to use it. That and then I love this lip gloss. It is Warrior from Cuff Your Pearls. I will link both of them down below. Cuff Your Pearls, I did a video on them not long ago. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. I'll try to link it below as well. Um, it has a very beautiful, very bright palette. I don't know if bright, some of the colors are kind of dark, but they're all very pigmented. They're beautiful. Um, watch that video. But I love the lip glosses a lot. They are good. Don't sleep on them. They don't stick a lot. They build and they look amazing. That's my opinion. All right, I've got three more to go, folks. The next one is from Pat McGrath. This is the only Mothership palette I have. It may be the only one I get because budget. Um, it's a Divine Rose too. I got it on sale, of course, too. And you're probably pretty familiar with the inside, but here you go. It's got so many pretty colors, so many different colors. Look, you can even see this extraterrestrial one here changing depending on the light it's in because it's so cool. But yeah, this palette works really well. Sorry, I was busy staring at the shadows. It works really well. It's beautiful. It's rose. I'm finding that a lot of things are rose, aren't they? Well, the next two don't have the word rose in the name. This is the Nabla Dreamy palette. And this one is basically pinks and purples. Now this is probably more of a taupe, but these are all pinks. There we go, there's better light. There's a lot of snow outside, so trying to find the lighting where it's not horrible on my glasses, but still shows the right stuff and gives me enough light is a little fun at the moment. But I mean, it's purple, it's pink. Like I love Metal Cupid. I love the Nabla formula. Yeah, there's much good light over here, but there's a couple of these I just absolutely love. Inception, rose gold, that rose gold, you can always get me with rose gold. I love rose gold. But yeah, that's just a small, I didn't bring anything down to wipe this off my arm with. Oh well. So that's what the dreamy palette looks like. And the last one, which is probably my favorite this year, especially since I didn't have it last year, the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I love Natasha Denona. I'm a Natasha Denona freak. Um, I got this on sale around Christmas with the Sunrise Palette. And here are the beautiful colors. A lot of you are probably familiar with this one too. If you're not, take a look. There are some pretty purples. There's some really pretty pinks, which is probably what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Um, because I was looking at those pinks today, but I had to try out the Club Nebula. But this one just has so many pretty colors. Um, Pure Love and Giving are probably two of my favorites right here and here. But yeah, that about covers it. All right, I know this video wasn't super long, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there wasn't a whole lot to do other than look at pretty palettes, and there's no way I was watching all those. I have to go clean this up now. I wish it would look a little better on camera because to me it looks kind of brown on camera. Oh, there's a little better. All right. Well, I hope you guys all have a great day or had a great day depending on when you're watching this. Please always know that you are loved, you are worthy, and you never have to be perfect, especially in makeup. Bye.